Kevin has been here for hours. Wow. Hours. I think it's been like two hours. <laughs> oh, I would have thought it been longer than that. Well, it might have been. Uh, but he's been working on Marvin the Martian. I showed this to you a couple of weeks ago, but he hasn't worked on it in a couple of weeks either. He's cut the paper out. All the. This is. Um, see, I don't know. Well, I can't really show you. Um, but this is Marvin the Martian. If you don't know what he looks like, look up a picture of him. Uh, but it, Kevin has made his shoe. The one shoe. One, one, that's what it is, his shoe. That's what, that's what he looks like. And he's going to be tall. Yeah. This is one shoe, but it's sturdy too. Yeah, well that's the soles and that's the shoe. I don't know why it's like up in the air, but it's no big deal. I'll put the other one right there and he'll be look like Oh no, oh yeah. Like I'll, I think that looks good. It'll be fine. So this is where he's gotten, and so you can see why it takes so long, because you have to bend, uh, once you get the paper cut, you have to bend each little section, and then you have to uh, glue it. Yeah, so Kevin has his glue here, and he uses a uh, toothpick, and now he's gluing each little piece. Yeah, that one will run dry now, this is my second ball. But the, uh, I use a toothpick, because if you use a brush, it'll just get hard and glued up, because you can see, I've already used one end, it's got glue all over it. So I'm just, these toothpicks, it's easier. So I have been needing a new straightener. For those of you who do not know, I got a perm last July, and I was told it'll fall out in three to six months. Well, the perm is still going strong and so <laughs> I wanted to straighten it sometimes and so I bought a straightener. Uh, I bought this at Ulta and this is an only Ulta Beauty design um, and it was about $70 because I had a coupon. And it is the Fine China 1 inch ceramic hair styling iron and there's a free backpack and so if you want a backpack you can get one for free with purchase. <laughs> Interesting. All right, here is the straightener. Gold plates and it goes from 330 degrees Fahrenheit, of course, to 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and it plugs in and it's supposed to have 30 second heat up. So I just thought you all would like to see that and I thought you all might think it was nifty. Miss Ashley bought something new today. Where'd you buy it from? Dick's. Dick's Sporting Goods. Did you have a coupon? Yes. Did you need the coupon? Yes. Oh, you did? How much, what, what, well, what is it first? This is a wall ball. So it's essentially a medicine ball, but it's bigger and it holds its shape a little bit. Oh, but wow. It's like the size of a basketball. Well, that's quite bigger. And it's 10 pounds. Yeah, yeah get that out of the box, Ashley. <laughs> Here. There we go. They pack it in there. This is the wall ball. And you can take it and you can go into a squat and then you throw it up and you hit a target. Um, you can hold it and squat with it. There are a bajillion things you can do with the wall ball. So it it's looks basically a D ball. Yeah, it looks like. What is that for? I don't know. Um, so reinforce the stitching. So, so how much did that cost? Like forty-five dollars. And you had a coupon. Mm -hmm. That was with the coupon. Oh, that was with it. Mm -hmm. So normally it would have been. Fifty-five dollars, and you had a ten dollar off coupon, or a t yeah, ten dollar off coupon. Yeah. So, so what do you? How do you plan on using it? Um, I'll probably use it. Take off the Made in China sticker. <laughs> I'll probably use it as a wall wall, uh, or to squat with instead of a kettlebell. I thought about getting kettlebells, um, but this was a lot cheaper, and it does the same things. Like you can hold it and weigh down your squats with this, just like you can a kettlebell. So. It is Sunday. Happy Sunday. I don't think I filmed one thing yesterday because it rained that yesterday, Saturday. It rained all day long. We never left the house, did we? We didn't leave the house at all. No, so, I that paper thing a little bit. I don't think oh, you showed that. Oh, that's either. right. Yeah, I did. I did. did, did you yes, something? I did film that. I forgot that I did film that. Um, I filmed Kevin working on his Marvin the Martian, and that's just going to be a work in progress. That uh, because I think that's bigger than even you thought. Is no, it? I knew. It you knew it was going to take that long. Yeah, those paper things take a lot longer than those metal things. Um, he, Kevin, made Andrew a, a Lego figure. He was an archer. Uh, years ago, and I I don't think Andrew has it anymore. I don't know, uh, but it was it was big too, very very big. So we are out. We are going to 
go to Speedway because they have a new candy bar that we're looking for. So we're gonna go there and look for that. But I have to tell you all what I did. It's shameful, shameful uh, the other night. I bought, I had bought those Gone Nutty Pop-Tarts. And if you've never had a Gone Nutty Pop-Tart, they, I bought the kind with the chocolate frosting on top and there's peanut butter in the middle. And the peanut butter is really sticky. So we were sitting on the couch watching Only Fools and Horses and I dropped a piece and I never could find it. And this was for a snack at night. So I eat them like a big cookie. I've said that before. And I never could find it. I got up and I looked around and I, I never saw it. So we um, we went to bed later and I read for a little while. And um, so got up the next morning and I looked in the mirror at my gown and it looked like uh, baby poop or something right here on my shoulder and I thought that's that peanut butter that's peanut butter from that pop tart and it was it I took my gown off and the the uh, the pop tart had fallen and had gotten stuck on me because that's how sticky that peanut butter is and when I was making the bed I found the piece of pop tart that isn't that awful that had fallen off <laughs> so yes I slept with a pop tart <laughs> just shameful I know very, I didn't very... notice it stuck to you either. no I told Kevin I said you must have not even looked at me because I was laying there reading and everything and um you know, after I after I read, I, I go to the bathroom one last time before I try to, to go to sleep so I don't have to get up in the middle of the night. And, um, I mean, that Pop-Tart never fell off during that time. I mean, it was, that, I'm telling you, that, that peanut butter is sticky. So, anyway, we, um, we're going to the bank first because I'm going to get some cash out. I like to have a little cash on me for the lottery and... I buy a ticket. I used to buy one all the time, but now I'm only buying a ticket like every other week or something. It's um I need a haircut anyway, so the Oh, so we'll get out extra we'll so you extra. can get a haircut. Okay, okay. So it's a good thing we're going to the bank. So anyway, that's what we're doing right now. And um, I don't know if I will catch up with you all later or not. Kevin has graduation today, which means he's not graduating. He is a professor, so he has to be there for his students. And so... He will do that, and it used to be in Frankfort, Kentucky, and apparently they've torn that whole thing down. They've either torn it down or they're working to tear it down. Yeah, so I don't know if I got that during a vlog. I'm sure I did. I'm sure at some point during some vlogs I've gotten the Frankfort. What is it called? The Frankfort Convention? Convention Center. Center. Okay. okay. So, anyway, there are they going to build something else there? No clue. So, graduation, instead of, since they can't have it in Frankfurt anymore, they're having it at, at EKU, Eastern Kentucky University. Which that's really have anyway. That's in Richmond. Uh, well, they would really like to have it at Rupp Arena, which is in Lexington. But Rupp Arena is a very, very expensive. That's where um, you graduate when you go to the University of Kentucky. and But it, it is just... It, they charge the school so much uh, and it's a shame because you would think that they would give a, a school a break but they, they especially don't especially since it's already set up for their break right yeah UK is graduating so yeah so I don't understand why they won't but that's just the way it is so anyway I might catch back up with you all later if I'm doing anything exciting but uh, we'll just have to see well, we came in Dollar Tree because Robert wanted me to buy the Welch's Grape Popsicles, and they do not have them here. They have um, ices, and they have fudge bars. They have uh, different popsicles. They have mug, which I'm sure are good. They have Sour Patch. But they do not have the Welch's. So, I wanted to let him know that I did try. I did try, but they don't have them. And if you're ever looking for cute little yep. um, Kleenex boxes, they have them here. 
Those are very cute. They, I mean, they do have a lot of uh, meals to choose from. They have little mini pizza bagels. Yeah, you can get, uh, yeah, Edwards. Cookies and cream? Yeah, they sell them here by the slice, which is good, because if you want just uh, just one slice, what are those, eclairs? Yeah. Oh, they have eclairs and cream puffs. Huh, those are probably good. So they do have all kinds of stuff. Let me look down here to make sure. Make sure that they don't have them down here at this end. No, this is just juice. This isn't like frozen. This isn't frozen stuff like that. Like popsicles or anything. So, refrigerated stuff. yeah, just refrigerated stuff. They do have more food down here, Kevin. I think they have two more rows that we haven't been down. We've been looking at the, um, we've been looking at the food. Uh, but uh, we thought we had looked down all the food aisles, but clearly we haven't. Fancy assorted cookies. I bet they're good too. I well, like this is the same ones we just found up there. America's American classic. Oh, that's the same brand. We just have the whole cake. Oh, okay. But we found slices. Right. Look, Daddy Ray's. I've never heard of that brand. They have a lot of Vienna sausages. <laughs> Yep. Crackers, lots of crackers. Yeah, we just somehow skipped this all. Mrs. Freshly's. We've tried some Mrs. Freshly's. I don't think we've tried them all. And, yeah. mm hmm. Yeah. Cereals. Little bags of cereal. Where do you see little bags? Reese's Puffs and the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, yeah, those are. But I, I didn't realize that was cereal. I thought it was like That's the snack the mix. Like right. A lot of you asked me what I read, so I wanted to make sure that I mentioned this. Um, I'm almost positive I mentioned it during one of the live uh, shows on Wednesday. Uh, but I just finished this, uh, The Child. It was written by Fiona Barton. Um, she, this is only her second book, and Dr. Dan was kind enough to send me both books, so thank you to Dr. Dan. Uh, but her, the first book she wrote was called The Widow, and then this one is The Child. And I, this is, she is a, Fiona Barton, she is a British author, um, it says, uh, the New York Times bestselling author of The Widow, um, da, 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 da. she was pre, yeah, she was a, previously a senior writer at the Daily Mail, news editor at the Daily Telegraph, and the chief reporter at the Mail on Sunday, where she won Reporter of the Year at the British Press Awards. Born in Cambridge, England, she currently lives in southwest France, so... I can't imagine living in England and moving to France, but I'm sure France is, is beautiful. Uh, anyway, about the book, I liked The Widow. I thought it was a, a very good book and would recommend it. However, I like this one better. It's like, it's like, you know, because The Widow was her first book, it this one is just better. It, it, she's a little bit more experienced and it just, uh, she just seemed to write more smoothly in this book than in the first one. And Guido is breathing. You can probably hear him because it's warm outside. Um, despite my hoodie, it's warm outside and it's been beautiful. And I've been sitting on the back porch. I had like, I don't know, I had like 50 pages left. And so we've been out back for a very long time. And so Guido is trying to eat but <laughs> his dinner, but he's panting at the same time, but he's hungry, so um, he, uh, yeah, he, he gets hot. Pugs are not meant to stay outside, but I want to thank Dr. Dan again for this book. It was 
very, very good. If you get the chance to read this, I highly recommend this book. If, if you only had time to read one, The Widow or The Child, I would recommend you read The Child. You don't have to have read The Widow first, although the main character in these books is the same. She's a news reporter. So she's writing in each book, she's writing about these things that have happened. And the widow involves one event, and then the child uh, involves another event. So you don't have to have read the first one to read the second one. So if you can, I would read this one. It's, it's very enjoyable. You have to like a crime, uh, a, a, a mystery. You have to enjoy uh, something, an event has happened, and they're trying to figure out who all's involved, who did it, what the story is. And so this was this was very, very good. This was right up my alley. So um, I wanted to let Dr. Dan know here too that uh, I loved it and thank you very much. We are at Lowe's in the Garden Center and this caught my eye the other day because they've put all of their flowers outside and so I thought I would show you what they have. They have herbs and stuff over here. Let's, we can look at some of these. These are so pretty. Aren't those beautiful? And Kevin doesn't like marigolds because he doesn't like the smell of them. These are beautiful. Kevin, look at these. These are pretty. And these are beautiful. Impatience. Oh, these are annuals, then. Yeah, we try not to spend our money on annuals because they die. And we would rather buy things that are gonna come back year after year. And now I had a neighbor who had was it these that she had? Yeah, geraniums. And I think she took these in her house off the porch. Probably did. And um, I think they came back year after year. And they were red and they looked, they looked, always looked really pretty on her front porch. But they have red and white, pink. And it's very busy out here. pretty this is that'll be a vine yeah climbing climbing collection it says give me all this flower pollen with allergies that's what I mean <laughs> ah, Kevin's so funny oh you got allergies here let's walk around flowers <laughs> You're so sweet, though. They do smell good. Now that I've sneezed and proved my nose out. <laughs> well, I love these. Xena, those are so those. pretty. Those are pretty Oh, cool. yeah. You like the little delicate ones. I like the stuff that lays kind of on the ground. Yeah, like flocks. I mean, those look like weeds, actually. But... These are pretty. Mm -hmm. That's another of that Dala, Dyla, Dala. These are beautiful. And then they have the. the I know, it's very pretty. These are the same things. They just haven't put them out, out there yet. I like how these are in the pots. You just buy the whole pot. Yeah. Mom and Dad always got huge ferns and put those on the front porch, and uh, they they always looked really good on the front porch. These are lilies. You do, but you know, but you know where we've seen them before. Costco. Yeah, Costco. Costco had huge ferns, and they weren't. Um, they weren't a bad price either. That was last year, and now we haven't been in there this year to see them. But I mean, they were they were a very good price. Yeah, those are really pretty. Look at these with the different colors. So it's painted a stripe on them. Huh? Like somebody's painted a stripe on them. Oh yeah. Orange ones. 
The rain's gonna. Yeah, <laughs> it it rained what two days ago. And so it, these haven't dried out completely yet. I'm sure they'll be a lot perkier once they do dry out. Look how pretty this is. Tropic Escape hibiscus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a Those hibiscus. We had a like paper. We had a red one, didn't we? What's that called? The crepe paper? Yes. That's what they always look like. I'm wondering if they have any of those bushes. We should have asked somebody if she'd seen any. And we have plenty of these in the backyard, but now none of my roses have come out yet. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you saw mine, and mine haven't come out yet. I love this color. That's very pretty. I love that deep red color. If I was gonna buy any, I would buy that deep red color. Yeah, that just, I don't know. That would look good on our front porch too with the door and the everything. But I don't know how long they last. So we'll go in and we'll see. I'm gonna ask somebody if they have any of those peony bushes. We'll see. Last year we waited a little while and they didn't, but I don't even know if they ever got any, to be honest. They have all. <laughs> We're gonna go in here so that we'll have a lot to see. But I pretty much, I think I showed you a lot out here. Yeah, we'll just have to ask. Look at these big things. What are they? Hydrangea. Is, isn't that what we bought uh, Ashley last year in the backyard? We bought her one of these, except yeah, it. That looks more like what we bought. Yeah, it's except it's um, hers is blue. They didn't have green stems either, like tree stems. They didn't look like that. They're beautiful. Look how pretty that is. It's huge too. Well, and it looks it looks even bigger probably than it is because it's up on a up on a um, stand thing there. Okay, so now we're inside. They said if they had any peonies that they would be in here. Kevin, somebody's calling your phone, I think. I have Kevin's Fitbit around my ankle. <laughs> so it started vibrating. I get the vibrations. A rhododendron. Are you looking for the names? Hmm. They smell good. I think it stinks. You think they stink? It just smells like summer. Lots of bushes. All shrubs. Yeah. Well, what about up there on that thing? Those have a flower on the. Yeah. What kind of flower is that? I don't twist. Azalea. Okay. A burning bush. A burning bush? Mm, the dwarf, these are dwarf versions of small ones. So that means they'll turn red? Yeah, they have like either red leaves or red flowers. I don't remember. Your mom had one, but I don't know what it looked like. Where did she have it? On the side next to where the. Uh, there's a little community. Oh, there it is. See the leaves turn all red. What happened to it? Uh, Did it just die? I don't know. I got accused of mowing over it, but I don't think I... Oh, is that the one? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. No, I did. I think it just died. Or your dad's free weed kill on it. <laughs> and Kevin will always be blamed for it. What is this one? No. Bambia. Bamboo. I have a feeling. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I think we've seen those in our front yard. I think they're going to have everything but a peony. They have azaleas and rhododendrons, lilacs. Blue 
slice bog rosemary. Do you want to go up through you know, here? The rosemary is like the rosemary of the season. No, they have statues. <laughs> look, look at the little bulldog. Kevin, yeah, they look well, yeah, you right? the, like the, Oh, do you? I wouldn't have one, but I like it. These look like a lot of the roses. Purple leaf sand cherry bush. Yeah, they're not going to have a... How pretty these are. All those are roses. Oh, look how pretty that is. That rose. Very, very pretty. I love that. I want to smell one so bad. Mmm, it smells good. Huh? Apples? Do you see that? Those are apple trees, blackberries. Y'all see all those are roses right there. Um, I think they're all roses. Oh, I see some more blackberry up there. I don't know. A weeping cherry? It's a feature tree, it means it's big. Oh. Uh, I don't know. Do they? Are th are those the ones? I don't think they're gonna have your bushes. I'm, I That's don't. I just those. don't understand. They're so popular at the cemetery. I don't understand where are people buying them. Yeah, there was a, did we look at those over there? Yes. No. <laughs> A few more little bushes over here. And I might ask somebody else. Because that one girl, she she just might not have known. She, you know. So what are we gonna actually buy? We need some dirt. And, uh, dirt and grass seed. One bag of dirt and some grass. Okay. Well, if I see anybody else, I'll ask them, but I don't think there's gonna be anybody else back here. But Rose wisteria. of Sharon. Wisteria. Oh, wisteria. See, they don't have wisteria. And you know, I still didn't see any lambs there. But we haven't been inside yet. We haven't been inside. Yeah, you knew that the one that I would want would be you the hardest to, to get a hold of. It's always the case. I just want popcorn. So I'm going to take you inside in just a minute. We'll look at the flowers in there. Okay, we're back in. We're not inside, but we're in. Oh, you're going to use that? Yes. Um, well, you could go out there and I'll walk around and look at some of these flowers. I don't want cheap dirt. So I want. You want cheap dirt? Yeah, here, stand there and look at this. And we could have gotten one of these buggies, but Kevin is worried to death that they belong to somebody and nobody's around. Nobody is near these buggies. I don't think they belong to anybody. Me, I would take the buggy. I would put those flowers in that buggy and I would be gone. And of course, you know my luck. Somebody would come up behind me. Where are my flowers? Where's the buggy that I left here while I left for five minutes? But nobody's around. I'm telling you, that is nobody's buggy. I might just move the stuff out of this buggy and not tell Kevin. We're just gonna take this buggy. You just gonna move these? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Nobody is around. Nobody's. This is not anybody's buggy. Yeah, you just have to lay that somewhere. Now, you see, I've climbed this buggy. That guy, um, I can smell his cigarette smoke. A guy came out here to light a cigarette and he walked up, but I can still smell, smell the smoke. I'm not used to smelling that. I'm not around a lot of people who, uh, who smoke. 
These are so pretty. You hear the birds? I love coming here this time of year, though, to look at all the flowers. That's an iris, it says. I'll tell you what, though. I'm not... I'll have to, I say every year I'm going to have to order one of those um, peony bushes, and I never do. Because I just hate to get it a stick in the mail, you know? I would like to get something with a little, a little growth on it already, you know, like something this big. I want something, something that's already started a little bit. Some of these, I don't know what they are, but they're not, this is familiar. A lily, yeah, that's why that looks familiar. And they have some back here. But nothing, nothing that looks like a peony. These are Mandevella. Hmm. Mandevella. What did you get? It has the fertilizer for that. Yep. No peony bushes. Do you want to walk up through there? You go ahead. I'll get. I'll go behind you. These are. I like the low line. Look, drop water and go. You drop on the ground. And <laughs> That's what we really like. We really want to be able to just drop it and go. Not even dig a hole. Yeah, <laughs> just, just lay it down. You can tell that we are not really outdoor people. And when you see me trimming those bushes in the backyard and the, the rose bushes, I do it because if I didn't, um, it would look like gray gardens. Um, <laughs> you know, everything would be... Yeah, before they cleaned it up. Yeah, it would be overgrown, definitely. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I do it because I have to. I like to go up there to that, uh, where the light is, pull all those vines out. A bleeding heart. Yeah. Um, I would like to have another one. Would you mind if we had, if we bought one? Where you put it up? Uh, under the back window in the out, out back. You know they get huge. You just want something for me to mow around. You know what? If I bought a peony bush, where would we put it? We don't have to get one. We can get one if you want. That's okay. That's okay. You can get one first. No, that's okay. Because I would rather have the peony bush. These are so pretty. We bought those one year. We right? did. We did. And they lasted that year. Yeah, you. Know? We. They didn't have the light colors though. I think I like the light color. Yeah, uh, we got the really dark. Yeah, ones. we got the dark one, and those are beautiful. But look how delicate that it is. It looks like uh, something Japanese. Something. Yeah. yeah, it looks. Uh, it's very pretty. Get your. Uh, these are gorgeous. No, I was thinking with the bleeding heart, once they come, uh, once they sell them, they sell them. That was only three dollars too. Yeah. Probably because it's you. I don't know. I don't know why I was like. I probably because it doesn't have any hearts on it, and people don't know what it is. But see, I know what it is, so I know how pretty they are. So they have these bleeding hearts marked down to three dollars each because they bloomed like a week ago the woman told me so three dollars each i'm gonna keep one and i'm gonna give one to christina and then the lady outside told me she said that peonies she said we had them like a week ago so i'm like a week late she said but if you go up front you can look for bulbs and if you plant the bulbs this year they'll start coming up next year so this is fifteen dollars for four plants we looked on Amazon and some of those plants are $15 for one. So four bulbs, this is not the color that I wanted. This is a dark pink and I wanted the, the light pink, but that's okay. I'm not gonna be picky at all. Um, 
yeah I think these are going to be beautiful so I'll plant them outside and when we get home Kevin's gonna have to get more dirt because he only got one bag of dirt so he's we're gonna get another bag of dirt he's getting he's looking for grass seed and uh, then we'll head home so I've spent 15 16 17 18 19 20 I spent 21 dollars that I didn't plan on spending but I am gonna give one of these to Christina because I think she'll love it so now if he can just find the grass seed Ashley had rented some books from school and so we had to return those three books to the UPS office and I think it's all through Amazon so we don't have to pay anything through shipping which is awesome and uh, this next semester this last semester of ours for school she doesn't have to have any textbooks at all which is awesome so won't have to worry about books again but we dropped off the bleeding heart bush to Christina and she was very grateful for it she said that she would get the kids to help her plant it and she has some beautiful irises in her front yard right now she had a lady across the street uh, gave her a bunch of bulbs and uh, so Christina planted them and so now they're they're really tall and they have beautiful uh, purple they're beautiful purple flowers so this is on our way home from the post office yeah, don't get too close. You can't get too close because you'll get you'll get the urine. The nearers, nears, nears, nears. Anybody can guess that maybe. Yeah, what was that in nears? Does he say stepping you're, in nears. you're stepping in nears? We're gonna plant the bleeding heart in this area because we're gonna move. We're gonna move that over closer to that and we're gonna plant it here. And then the peonies, we have this ugly area at the end of the driveway where nothing's here. So like you have bushes and then you have bushes here, but there's nothing here in this space at all. And Kevin said he's always spraying something to keep the weeds down. So now we can just put the peony bush here and we won't have to, Kevin won't have to worry about the weeds underneath it. It won't look bad. So, do you want to take care of your stuff first, or, or this? Uh, mine won't take very long. Either. You probably ought to do mine first. That way you've done the shoveling and you're worn out. Well, like this. Yeah, but I mean, ultimately, these won't come up till next year. You know you can't spray over here this year. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. That's why I'm okay. Get some okay, yeah, because you won't be able to spray once we put the... I may go buy some more. Or we may not. We may go buy a little bit of mulch to put right here because it keeps some of the weeds. Or we may save our money and not. <laughs> so, so anyway, I need. I, I want my mulch. But you got to come out here and pick these weeds. <laughs> so the peony, it says, plant in the spring as soon as the ground has thawed and the soil has warmed to 50 degrees and is workable. Yes. Oh, yeah. usually four to six weeks after the last frost so it now we're still in that time after the last frost yeah we're, yeah, we're still in that time light full sun which you can see it's going to get it's going to have Good sun forward. planting instructions plant as soon as possible after the danger of frost we read that uh choose a well-drained location yeah, with the light well. requirements set the plant in place so the crown is about one inch below the soil surface that's not that's not deep and sure. pack lightly yeah that's not shoving well, my Regular question watering for the first few weeks after planting and doing the drop here product of the netherlands that's interesting product of the netherlands far, far. and distributed in one plant per square foot so we so, could probably plant three or four of them. There's four, four that's what feet. I'm wondering. Can we plant all of them right here? Probably. Okay. And you only put them an inch in the ground. So I want to see what they look like uh, when we open this package. Because I've never bought bulbs like this in my life. But don't expect to see them till next year. <laughs> Oh, it's like you bought a bag of dirt. <laughs> but there's a bulb. What do they look like? It's a bulb. Oh, Here's okay. A bulb. Oh, 
very interesting. Okay. It looks like they put like a little bit of sand in there too. Just whatever dirt they Oh, came look at with. the roots. Oh, wow. And how do you know which way's up? Is that is that up? I would assume that's up. Yeah, that's it. Because then the roots are at the bottom. I don't know. Because that has pink on it. Or is that a big root right there? I think that is the root. It goes like this. Oh, and you think that's the top? I think so. Did it not say? You see as well as I do. See, it's got all these little sub roots going. Like these little are pointing down. Okay, so you think those, okay. So that shaft that was gonna go down. I think. Okay, well, I, I'm hope, gonna do it. I hope we're right because if not, we'll never get to see them. Well, do you think they would grow if you put them in wrong? So that's what we're gonna do and then I'll show you uh, the bleeding heart next. So this is how we did it. We put two in the front and then the two others in the back and then that is just the extra like soil or whatever that was in the box um that was in that bag and now kevin's putting the new dirt and whatever we don't use here we'll use um we have a a bleeding heart that we're going to plant next and we'll, we'll uh use it for the bleeding heart next and it said to lightly it didn't say to like firmly packed it said lightly packed so So next year, hopefully, we'll see some little sprouts. This is where we planted the, of course, there's a big truck going to go by right now. <laughs> this is where we planted the uh, bleeding heart. This is on the side of the house. And you can see I've never done anything out here. Uh, my mom had planted these bushes. I don't even know what that that is called. But now we're going to go out front. Do the grass. And uh, we're gonna do the grass. I don't, I, do you need this uh, shovel? No. So um, yeah, we did this, I think we did this at the end of September. Was it, was it the end of September, Kev? Cause I was thinking, cause I was thinking people are gonna think we're doing this for Halloween. Yeah, uh, because, um, at least that's when I'm thinking we did it. Maybe that's when we did it the year before. It was at Halloween. But Kevin's gonna put more dirt. Do you think it needs more dirt? It looks level. Yeah, there's some edges here and there. I'm just gonna cover it up with dirt. But if we had some tombstones, it would be funny to put some in there. Just to make people think we buried something here. So are you gonna just pour that whole bag of dirt and then the, gr the whole bag of grass seed, right? Yep, hopefully something will grow. boxes to open for you but I wanted to tell you all Mona had sent me this book it's called Wonder and um, it's by RJ Palacio I'm probably saying that completely wrong but the name of the book is Wonder and it's about a little boy his name is August and he's been homeschooled his whole life and he was born with a severe facial abnormalities very very severe and uh, he had that's why he's been homeschooled his whole life and so he reaches he gets to where he's gonna be going into the fifth grade and his mom and dad really want him to go to a regular school um, so, see the previews for this movie now now that you describe it I think it has Joey Roberts yeah, is yeah, the, the kid, and yeah, I remember seeing okay. the preview. We didn't see the movie, but we've seen no, the preview. No, Ashley has seen the movie. Um, but so this is about this book is about um, his fifth grade year. He ends up going to the school. Uh, at first, he doesn't want to go, but I mean, I'm not telling you anything you don't find out right at the beginning. And so uh, the book takes place over his entire fifth grade year, uh, meeting new people, new kids, and interacting with people, and um, have, have, with his 
uh, severe facial abnormality. So it's about his year. So anyway, I wanted to tell Mona that I finished the book. I enjoyed it and thank you for sending it to me. So I really appreciate that. Now the boxes, this one is from HQ Warehouse. So we have no idea. And I have no idea what it is. So just gonna go for it. Ah, okay. Okay, I know what this is. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, someone contacted me on Instagram and she said, uh, I would love for you to try these. And when she said that, I was thinking that she was the owner of the company. <laughs> I, I honestly thought that, so. Well, you probably thought it was just a small company. Uh, well, I thought that she was, from her profile picture and everything, she looks like she works out in the gym and, and I just thought she owned this company. And so other companies have contacted us and they're like, do you want to try our product? A lot of times I'll say no, but sometimes I'll say yes, absolutely. Well, she was like, well, the, the reason I thought she owned the company is because she said, if you go to the website or and pick out something, I can give you a coupon code or something. That's why I thought that. So I thought she was offering to send these for free. And so I said, well, we would love to try your uh, spreads, some of your spreads, any of them that you would like to send us. And then I found out that she wasn't the owner of the company. She was just letting me know that she could get me a coupon code. Uh, I she just, was just a watcher. I misunderstood. You. I misunderstood completely but she knew knows the owner of the company right so she contacted him and she asked if he would send these to us and so, so now you got them. now i have them but i feel i felt horrible because i literally thought um i thought she was offering to send them to me so i didn't know well, that it was just the way it was communicated i guess it was I a confusion did. yes so all that said, the well, it says thanks Tammy on the little invoice, but I can't tell who signed it. You can't tell who signed it. I will get the Looks names. Looks like a something something eight L. Okay, I will get the names <laughs> off Instagram, tell. and I will tell you her name uh, because she recommended them, and I will uh, give you the name of the man from the company and all that because I I didn't bring my phone in here with me. This is. Um, Peanut, cashew, a coconut spread. This is an apple pie a la mode. Apple pie. And this is chocolate toffee chunk. This, I think that these are the only four they sell. Give me s'more nuts, bro. Give me s'more nuts, bro. And this one is French toast fantasy. I can't wait to try exactly. these. So I'm you so spread those excited. You put them on bread, like a uh, like peanut butter. I'm I saying you can put it on bread. I think we will probably try it on cracker on a Ritz cracker yeah, because it's that's how we eat everything. It's easier that way. But this one looks great. Thank you so much for oh, no, giving good. us the opportunity, and I'm sorry that I'm so dense that I didn't understand. But I appreciate the opportunity to try them for the channel uh, because they sound really, really good. So we'll be trying those soon. This box is from Lori in Texas. She said, Happy Mother's Day. And she already sent me a card, which I really appreciate it. Uh, hi, Tammy and Kevin and Dunn family. Hope you all are doing well. So, Tammy, you already know one thing in here, but the rest are things that I think you would like. Okay, don't worry. You don't want to read anything that's in here. I think the one thing that I know is like, I'm done. Uh, these are 7-Eleven, 7 Select Caramel Popcorn, White Cheddar Popcorn. You all know I love the 7-Eleven stuff because we don't have one around here. Mm -hmm. If Kevin and I ever do like a road tour, yeah, we'll stop at 7-Eleven. We're going to stop we, at 7-Eleven. We have tried those. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> we were just sent these. Uh, yeah, Mishmish from Michigan had just sent us some of these. That is so funny. That's okay. Because Laurie said, I think some of the things you've tried, but then, you know, I, I told her, even though we've tried them, that's a good thing for us because we don't have to do a review. We can just enjoy them. Uh, these are Trolley Celebrite. I can't read what that says. S N E R K S. Sneakers. S N E A K S. Well, they didn't spell sneakers right now. Sneakers. 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 
I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be sneakers. Sweet Kicks was a sour slam. Yeah, and they're shaped like shoes. They are shaped like sneakers, but they didn't spell it that way. Anyway, this is a collector's edition. Don't spell it, girl. You eat it. James Harden. I'm assuming he's a basketball player. I would think so. And so I'll have to look him up and see what team he plays on. So you can tell that Kevin and I, oh, and look, they're actually shaped like little That's shoes. That's what I said. Ah. Look on the front. The picture. Oh, those are they so They actually cool. look like socks on the front. But. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Um, these are 7-Eleven peanut butter chocolate cupcakes. Yum. Those look like uh, Hostess. They mm, even they have the swirl, the swirl on the top. Yeah. You remember that show when we watched them and they had to make, they tried to have yeah, reproduce them. Yeah, they recreate it. They didn't yeah. do very good. 7-Eleven Walnut Fudge Brownie. That looks so it's, it's wonderful. It's huge, too. Oh, it looks so good. Now, the cookie... I love walnuts this cookie in so, my fudge. It made it, but it's in a couple pieces. And that's okay. <laughs> but it still eats well. Seven Select Go Yum Hazelnut Butter. I don't know what you're looking forward to. I can see it in here. Uh, yes, because someone told me about them. It, yes! I knew that would be it. H-E-B Root Beer Float Twisters. And someone told me that these are like the best cookies. Like, like these are the cookies you want to get. Uh, these, yeah, this is it. I like root beer anyway. So. so we will be trying these immediately following this box opening <laughs> because I want to try these that bad. So when you see that review will be wearing the same clothes and hopefully you'll see the review before you see this box opening because I'll want to get this out there right. immediately because because they're limited edition. They're cool. What does it say? Twisters? Yeah, these are the Twister, twisters. So. Like Eric has said this, the, like the peppermint yeah. twisters. And, um, what, I, isn't one, like one of your favorite cookies? One of the the apple pie. Yeah, that's what I thought. The apple pie are my very, very favorite. Yes. Kirby Lane Cafe Buttermilk Pancake Mix. And we have uh, made some of the uh, Kirby Lane before, uh, so this will be fun. Yes, hmm. pancake mix, and I have plenty of syrup. What is this? Fisher and Weiser beer mustard sauce. Friedrichsburg brought Haas beer mustard sauce. So the beer you put it on spread sauce. on burgers. Oh, finish. Yeah. Grilled meats mix into potato salad. Oh, that's cool. That could cool. be interesting. Yeah, mix it into potato salad. I'd be afraid to try a whole bucket of potato salad with something new, but, but if, right. you mix, if you were going to make some, you could try some out. We will probably batch. try it out on brats, don't you think? Yeah, or a hamburger. Yeah. Dip it in a hamburger. The last thing. Last thing. This is Fisher and Weiser. Amaretto peach pecan preserves. That's not good. Heat and drizzle on waffles mixed with cream cheese for a dip. Top ice cream. That's neat. That You'll sounds... probably just eat on toast though. <laughs> uh, you think on toast? But it's peach amaretto. That's what you. That's what one of your favorites, isn't it? Yeah. So that just has the pecan add to it. So yeah. You so you think I should try it on toast? Yeah, I think you should. Uh, you were down here. Two items. The mustard and jelly are from a town called Friedrichsburg. It's a town steeped in German heritage and known for its wieners. No, it's not known for its wieners. That's what it says. I think it says wineries. Oh. I, it's, Does it? I think that says wineries. Oh, because there's an extra letter. Yeah. Well, if it's German, it's probably known for its wieners, too. <laughs> they probably have sausages and stuff. Okay. It is on the Texas National Register of Historic Places. It's a great town to visit. Um, to visit there is a place called Enchanted Rock that is over 1,800 feet above sea level. I have been hiking there. The pancake mix is from Kirby Lane Cafe in Austin. They have been open for almost 40 years. Hmm. Really hope you enjoy this package. Love watching you. And the new edition, Dinner with the Dunn. So appreciate your friendship. Love you guys, Laurie. P.S. Hope everything survived. It's hot in Texas at 90 degrees. And I've been meaning to tell y'all, it's getting hot here. Yeah. Um, some, I would not. Age, yeah, I, normally this time of year, I tell you all, I wouldn't 
send mm -hmm. a lot. I wouldn't Especially send Especially if it's chocolatey stuff. Yeah, I really wouldn't. I would Chips and stuff off. are pretty safe, but anything Yeah, if else. you want to send potato chips, but I would hold off if you've, if you've been wanting to send us something and you've been, you know, I would just wait because it is so hot. All this is awesome. Um, I really appreciate it. I cannot wait to try these. Cannot wait to try that. everything. And this looks very, the very good. Piece. So everything looks good. So thank you all so much. I want to show you all this. I'm coming in here to make myself some toast, okay? This is the Heiner's 35 calorie bread. Now, we pay for this. There's no telling. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. There is no telling. I think it's like... 2.30 something. Hold on. Hello? Hey. Hold on one second, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, we pay like 2.30 something for this bread. And for it to have holes in it this big, even this piece, look at this. Kevin's on the phone. Sorry, I got him on speakerphone. Uh, but look at this. I mean, I don't even know how far down I'm going to have to dig. Okay, finally, I found a piece. But I mean, that's horrible. So I could, I could technically use that one, but I can't use it for toast because I put jelly on it. Uh, I guess I could use that for a peanut butter sandwich. But for the past few loaves of the Heiner's, this is what it's looked like in every single loaf. Uh, Kevin's had to throw away bread because it's been in this kind of shape. So I just think this is a shame. Kevin and I are on a walk and I wanna show you these flowers. They're so pretty, and who would ever know? I guess they come out of these little pods, mm -hmm. these little furry pods. But I told they Kevin, look like those pom -poms after you make yeah, they look like crepe paper. They're so pretty, and they're just in a bundle here. And then up here, um, they have some purple flowers, and I just think they're they're so beautiful. I don't; those aren't. Uh, We've seen some lilacs, but those are something different. That's a lavender, I think. But I don't know what the big tall ones are. Someone was asking me what Metal Earth uh, kits, <laughs> Guido, what Metal Earth kits Kevin has. This is the only one he has that he has not uh, done yet, built. This War is, machine. yeah, Marvel Adventures War Machine. So these are the ones that he does have, and excuse the dust. Um, because I, it's not very often that I pick all these up and dust them. I don't think you could dust them. <laughs> too good to me well, I mean, like dust the, the no, mantle. It's not, it's not too bad. No, no actually, it's not, it's bad, not bad, bad at all. all. Okay, well, forget that. Okay, so he has a movie reel and a piano. And what is this one? A Klingon Kevin? ship. What is that one? So That's just kind of a pirate, pirate ship. ship. It looks like a pirate ship. I don't know what it is. It actually says the name on the front. Oh, does it? Oh, it does. Black Pearl. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh that's from, from uh, um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Okay, and then Iron Man. Iron Man. And then this is... William Falcon. This uh, one? Yeah. Okay. And then that's something from Star Wars. Okay. Destroyer Droid. Yeah, is Destroyer that what it says? That's one that crawls up in a ball and rolls. That's, that's a Dalek. That's a Dalek. And... Space Mountain. From Disney. Mm-hmm. And, and a tank. Then, Andrew bought me a kit of three tanks so i got three so tanks you, so, yeah you're gonna see three different tanks and this is um cinderella's castle or yeah sleeping beauty's castle cinderella okay and then this is enterprise which it looks like uh, my thing's gotten broke Ooh. i have to glue that back on oh goodness i have to look at that because it, it's definitely fallen off or something and ferris wheel and another tank don't know where this is from. I don't remember the... Yeah, we don't remember the name of this I just one. don't remember. And then we have a dinosaur back there. Yeah. And then this is... That's the old Enterprise. The, the other one was the newer, like, next generation Enterprise. That's the old one from the 70s. And then we have some... I haven't been in here. Uh, we've moved these around for some reason, and I haven't really spread them back out. Yeah, this is that a was like plane. One of the first ones I did. And then this is the Bat Batmobile. Batmobile. And then this is the horse from the Haunted Mansion at Disney. And then this is a, just a lighthouse. And then this is uh, just a carousel. carousel. And an old car. Old car which, which I think that was the first one I ever did. 
the old car, mm -hmm. and another the other tank, and then way back here, I don't know if you can see it. The train. This right here. Oh, that's uh, Darth Vader's top fighter. Not top fighter. Yeah, it's a top fighter. And then the train is. Uh, it says something on the side. Um, and then this is. R2-D2. R2-D2, and this is a new Batmobile. The newer one, and that's, uh, that's the, the old, old one. classic one. So then you have this one here, too. So you have three Batmobiles? Yeah. Oh, I didn't really, I just wasn't. I bought them kind of all at the same time. So he has quite a few. You need like a um, um, Elizabeth Tower, Big Ben. I have that. They do have that? Mm -hmm. Well, you need that. That's what you need. But anyway, that is... Um, that is those, and then I want to show you something else. So I was talking about these bookshelves on the live feed. If you came to dinner with the Duns on Wednesday, I talked about the bookshelves and how I never dust the bookshelves. Well, it's because the bookshelves go all the way up to the ceiling, and there's really, I mean, I do see some, some dust up there in the corner, but the books go all the way to the front of the shelves for the m most part. So really, there's not much to dust anyway. It's not like you look at these and see dust. So I didn't want you all to go away from that dinner with the Duns thinking I was dirty or anything, because I'm not. It's just that most of the books go all the way to the edge, so there is nothing to dust. And they go all the way up to there and so i am not there's no way i'm gonna get a ladder just to get up there to dust i mean nobody can even see the dust that's up there so that's why i don't dust the bookshelves very often we are going to end the vlog for the week right here because it's getting long. Uh, Amelia is getting ready to come over. We're going to watch her because uh, Christina and Andrew and Gavin are going to go see the new Avengers movie. And uh, so we are going to watch her while they do that. So I won't get to vlog during that time. Um, we did, I want to tell you all, we watched the last episode of Only Fools and Horses. So now we have like what? Six, this Christmas present. We have like six. Six or there's six, six, six or seven Christmas specials, uh, but we uh, we did get to see that last episode and it was very very special. I loved it. So uh, we got to meet. We were introduced to a new character, put it that way. So it was very special. But I'm gonna end it here. I hope that you all have a terrific week, and we'll see you next week.